another hunter. Yeah, so the mirror matchup, that's good news. Yeah. Like the, the worst matchup you can get here, the, the mirror class, let's say, the worst matchup you can get here is um, another face hunter. Yeah. So in the worst case, you kind of have a 50-50. All other matchups are much better for you. Uh, should I keep the Iron Beak? Mm, yeah, it's okay. It's so strong against Mad Scientist. Um, if you know for sure that it is Face Hunter, you can even keep the Explosive Trap. But we don't know for sure that it is Face Hunter, so... And he tossed all his cards, so... I think... Um, you uh, can keep the Iron Beak out, it's kind of optional a little bit. And the Horse Rider, or the Coin, yeah, it's usually nice to kill something. Yeah, uh, should I replace yeah. the Explosive Trap? Yeah. Yeah. So Iron Beak or against Horse Rider? Mm hmm. Ah, the kill command. Yeah, happens, I mean. Um, so, the abuse of Sorten could be really good with a horse rider if we decide not to coin it, but that depends. Um, yeah, so what would be your play here? I would probably just end the turn. Uh, as like you know, I I would I would keep the uh, I would play the haunted creeper because the haunted creeper is also very very strong with the uh, abuse of sergeant. Yeah. So yeah. let's just get that spider out. <clears throat> we have enough options for turn two. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. Oh, second owl. That's a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, but uh, yes, hero power face. Not much else to do. I'm discussing the abusive sergeant. I think you want to play the abusive sergeant just to develop the board more, even though it's off curve. It's also two damage, like the hero power, and you develop a two one. Yeah. So it's okay, I think. But it's arguable, like. But the hunter matchup is like almost. Whoever empties his hand first wins usually, so you should always try to play a card, even though it's looking a little bit weak here. I would still yeah. do it. Get in there, fight, we still have like a kill command. If if he has like Misha or Hafa, we can just kill command. Or no, against Hafa we have the Argent Horse Rider. Against uh, Misha we have the kill command. Against Leog also, so I don't see how this is getting really punished. He could play an explosive trap right now or something. Yeah, unleash the hounds. It's not really super punished. Hmm. We get our hounds, that's kinda good. Uh, so, like, just uh, hero power spider face. Uh, or why, why would you not do the trade? The trade is very favorable for you. I yeah. would always trade here. Greetings, traveler. He could yeah, play yeah. a Houndmaster next turn. We are not sure what he is. Like, you prevent the Houndmaster, you prevent lots of stuff. Yeah. All the beast really synergies. Uh, but should I play something more than... Uh, should I only trade? I would... I would play the horse rider. I would not play the hero power. Like, you would, would you want, I told you, you want to empty your hand against hunters. Yeah, but then uh, uh, trade with a spider. Yeah, yeah, trade with the spider. The divine shield can catch more than just a sim simple one one, you know. Yeah. Okay, so that could be an explosive trap. Um, yeah, it's it looks like an explosive trap. Like he yeah. played it, it is an explosive trap. But if we want to freeze something, or if we want to trigger the bear, I would prefer... Actually, the bear is not really... it doesn't really matter. But I would... Against freezing trap, I would always attack here first with the Haunted Creeper. Yeah. You don't really want to freeze the more expensive card. Yeah, that's pretty synchro. Okay, it's so, alright. Um, so the horse rider always attacks face here. Yeah. And 
Should I play out the creeper again, or should I? Yeah, I would. I would just play out the creeper again. It's not doing that much in the hand. Yeah, it's either you never play it again this game, or you play it out this turn. Yeah. Oh, interesting sludge belcher. So he's, after all, a slower kind of hunter. That was lucky that we played out the um, uh, hunter creeper. We could kill command, trade with the uh, Oregon horse rider, and go face with the uh, spider and take care of power. Yeah, we could <laughs> try to not fit in the hero power that much. Look how full your hand is. You wanna like your spells and stuff deal so much more damage. Yeah. Um. So to be honest, I would just silence, silence the Belcher. There's probably not much better to silence in his tech. Yeah. And then mm, it's kind of arguable if you want to put a kill command on that Belcher or if you don't want to do it. Like, you can always go ahead and do the silence already because the time might be, you know, yeah. like the secure stuff you can always do. And the minions always go face already. And now we can decide if we want to play the horse, uh, the wolf rider or if we kill command the Belcher. I think I would play the wolf rider and attack his face. Yeah, that's He has correct. shown kind of... Yeah, do it. He has shown kinda that he doesn't have explosive trap. And he's pretty low already, and one Belcher doesn't really like the Belcher trades into the three one and then that's kinda it. So Yeah, there's the Houndmaster, but we still have another silence, so Yeah, we should probably silence the Hodri um, Creeper. Uh, and we can keep the kill command. Yeah, let's silence the Hodri Creeper. Start with that. And maybe. No, there's not too much reason to play out the weapon, right? Mm. Well, you have to calculate damage. Um, but I actually think also Unleash the Hounds could be a pretty nice option because we get three Hounds here this turn. Yeah. Let's Go maybe on. Unleash the Hounds here. Mm, no, I would trade a little bit, I think. It looks... It doesn't really matter, to be honest. No, but like, uh, maybe Unleash the Hounds, one Hound into the Hound Master and the Arcane. Or, and yeah, the Arcane yeah. Trainer. I would clear this board, to be honest. All of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I would send obviously the haunted creeper. Like you keep one more hound if you you oh, have yeah, the right. chance to keep yeah. one more hound. That was a misplay. That's an explosive trap. One of them. Ah, uh, no, that we don't know. Could easily be, could e easily be just bear trap. Yeah. Or snake. Snake is also the possibility, you know. Uh, um. The Misha. Yeah. Hmm. The traps are annoying. Yeah, but. No, I would send it to. Hmm. Okay, no, let's 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 hope it's not let's hope it's not explosive trap. I think it's more likely bear trap because he's a slower kind of hunter. So let's uh, kill command the Misha and attack first with the um, owl maybe. The owl. Yeah, that's a bear trap. Okay. Use the weapon to kill the bear and go face with the rest. Yeah, there are the snakes. But we have a good chance to kill him next turn. Yeah.
So as you can see in a hunter with, with this hunter matchup, you want to empty your hand. Don't don't try to push in your hero power that often. It's really not that strong to use the hero power. Yeah. Uh, how much is that? That's three. Uh, I'm nine. pretty sure we have more than enough. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. Mm. Good job. Let's do one more. Plexa versus Andoe. The light shall bring victory. Let the hunt begin. Uh, keep the animal companion probably. Like. Uh, mm, yeah, I think Eaglehorn bow is almost always a keep, unless you have two bows. Yeah. Uh, should I keep the quick shot or not? Mm, it's actually not that bad against priest to keep the to keep the quick shot, but with the Eaglehorn bow, I think we don't need it. Like the Eaglehorn bow also deals with. Um, uh, not Shire Cleric. Yeah. So I would keep the bow and the animal companion, even though it's two three drops. Like, I I really like to keep these yeah. um, three drops in Face Hunter. They are very flexible. You know, if you own the board, you can play the animal companion on three, and if you don't own the board, you play the eagle hunt bow and catch up with the weapon. That's usually my my turn three in Hunter. It's perfect when you have both of these cards. Yeah, but would it really be worth to keep both of them then? Um, yeah, sure. In my opinion, it's worth it because you want to have both of them. Yeah. Also, just to have, were... just to have the option, you know. Yeah. And I really also... wonder if we have Lepanome in this deck. I never saw the card. Uh, I have two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we we never see it, right? I mean, no options here. Doesn't want to like, come out. Obviously, you want to play the Lepanome also, but. Um, oh, and uh, and the mad scientist. Like these are your favorite cards you want to play in the first turns. But yeah. Okay. See now. Now it's easy. Now you just go yeah. for the animal companion. Okay, Misha is pretty good one against priest. They have trouble killing minions with four attack. <clears throat> okay, dragon priest. Let's go for the Abuse of Sergeant Animal Companion or Abuse of Sergeant Eaglehorn. I would go, yeah. How, how can you figure out what's better? Uh, it would probably be the. Well, the Animal Companion is gonna put more pressure on the board. Uh, yeah. Whilst the weapon isn't that, like, really that useful. Yeah, I would, like in this case, I would go for the weapon if I had the second weapon in my hand. Yeah. You know, that if, if there's pressure to put out the weapon, I play the weapon. But we have so many creatures, just go for the creatures. Yeah. Oh, now we have an interesting option, actually. But since it, the Holy Nova is still a turn away, I would also do it like you did. But you had actually the option to send the Huffer into the dragon. Yeah. Uh, you know, now you're really weak against Holy Nova. But it's still a turn away, so it should be should be alright. Yeah, that's nice. Another one. Yeah. Um, so in this case, maybe trade one of the minions and play the Eagle on Bow. And a Mad Scientist. Um, yep, yeah, looks fine. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looks nice. And, uh, I would probably trade. Or does it really matter which one of the minions uh, I trade? Mm, yeah, I think I would trade Misha because he could play something like a wild pyromancer. Oh, yeah. So, but anyway, you're really afraid of him playing Holy Nova next turn, so yeah. that's the most dangerous one. 
but we are getting in here like six damage and equipping the bow and we have like already quite nice finishes in our hands so I think it's all right oh he doesn't even have the holy Nova. it's pretty good yeah this is looking good oh <laughs> it's like almost lethal already I think <laughs> yeah uh, so this turn maybe has to set up like uh, uh, play the south sea they can and nothing else? Uh, maybe one of the kill commands because we can't expect to get the. Uh, no, I, I would, I would, I would play the arcane golem as long as it could, can push damage in. He has shown that he doesn't have falling over, so yeah. just go for it. The, the extra mana, like it doesn't really matter if he is at six or at seven, in uh, my opinion. And I should play the south sea. They can also. Yeah, yeah, so the south sea also. Like we put him so low already. Attack with the weapon also. Um, well, the hero power always happens, and the weapon we can discuss. Yeah, because um, like if you place a taunt. The then... hero. Just play the. Why don't you um, activate the hero power? It always happens, right? So just do it. Um, yeah, I think we also attack with the weapon. It doesn't make any sense to save it, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, next turn we just play two kill commands and hope that he dies. This was a good matchup. Mm, no, I think not. Dragon Priest is kind of hard for Face Hunter, but he didn't really have. He missed lots of turns in the early game, and we got good animal companions. 